Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News, December 19th, 2020. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know, as you've probably noticed, if you're watching a lot of YouTube and uh, YouTube space videos, Planet X Nibiru videos, Pastor Paul Begley, uh, all of these folks have been talking about uh, this Planet Nine and what this Hubble Space Telescope captured. 336 light years away. But yet they completely ignore what I've been showing all of you for years on end now. And the, uh, the photographs have gotten clearer. Our science has gotten better. Our knowledge has gotten better. But it still seems the, uh, the disinformation campaigns are still everywhere. More and more censoring. Basically, they're programming all of you to believe something else. They now want you to believe that this possible Planet 9, a.k.a. possibly Planet X, has been discovered by the Hubble telescope over 300 light years away. Uh-huh. Yeah. But anyways, folks. I, you know, I, I hate to even mention this uh, this quack's name, but I was listening to uh, Pastor Paul Begley's video. It was referred to me by one of our subscribers, and uh, it was him referring to this new article that came out about Hubble and blah, 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 blah. And once again, I, I have to say that this, this man is a complete crackpot. But what got me even more is, you know, not more than just a few minutes into his video before he pretty much talks about anything, he's selling gold. Like the charlatan he is. Supposedly a man of God. Selling gold coins for a buck. Praise Jesus. What a fake. The information that he puts out, you know, about Planet X or Nibiru, again, complete fake. They never show you any evidence. None of these YouTube channels, they never show you the hardcore evidence that, that I've shown you over all of these years. Gil Broussard hasn't discovered Planet X. Marshall Masters hasn't discovered Planet X. Steve Olson at WSO hasn't discovered Planet X. None of these YouTube channels have. Mainstream science won't admit it if they discovered it. But I've discovered it. This is the only YouTube channel that you're going to find that allows you to see me tracking this object week after week, month after month, year after year. <coughs> Excuse me. I've done my homework and my technology has gotten better. And we're still tweaking that because we're still learning how to use this latest tool, this, this, this latest software. And, uh, you know, I have some help with, uh, with this project. And I've discussed that before. And I'm not going to go into much more than that. But we've discovered something else. 
We've been getting pretty clear photographs during these uh, coronal mass ejections. Really clear photographs. But something that we haven't done yet or just actually didn't think about was after the program renders the results, and sometimes it could take four, six, eight, 10, 12 hours uh, to, to run all of the data. It, it's just very, very slow because of the way that the program works. But I thought to myself, well, what about once it renders the results and we get the still photographs, why not reload the data and rerun it and see what happens? Well, over the course of the last uh, several days, that's what we've done. So on your screen now, you're looking at a coronal mass ejection that occurred on the 14th of this month, December 14th. And the photographs that came back the very next day were pretty damn incredible. And that's when, you know, it hit me. Well, hey, let's rerun this and see if it clears up even more. Well, lo and behold, it did. And I'm going to share those three photographs with you. And uh, let's go ahead and check them out. This was the first photograph. And uh, this is from the uh, cactus coronagraph. Now, normally, when we get data back from cactus, it's pretty fuzzy. And uh, the photographs, you know, they do come out pretty clear. But this time, came out even clearer. So you could see the time and date stamp up there. You could see the coronal mass ejection. Pretty decent size this time. You would have never seen what you're seeing now. You would have never seen it if it wasn't for the technology that I discovered that is literally unmasking the Planet X stellar core system that is orbiting our sun that is now part of our solar system. It is not Planet Nine, like Begley says. Begley's a false prophet, a gold coin salesman. I'm a hardcore truther, and I've been on the tail of Planet X for more than 20 years. Nobody, nobody has ever shown the general public, like yourselves, the photographic evidence, the proof, and the science behind it. Nobody has ever showed any of you that. None of them, except me, right here. And yet, you know, I get hammered by the boob tube, you know, Censored to all hell and back. Same thing with face puke and twatter. Even, you know, my articles on planetxnews.org. They get censored. They get placed to the bottom of the barrel. You guys have to start sharing the information and continue talking about it with others and in your groups. Point them to Planet X News. Show them the truth. Not some made-up star chart and timeline like Gil Broussard puts out in a poster. He's never shown any evidence. None. Zero. None of these quacks on YouTube have ever shown any evidence whatsoever. 
but you're looking at it right here today. Let's zoom in. So, whenever the software rendered uh, the second run, and I, I, I pulled these photographs up on my computer, haven't touched them. Don't, I don't need to. I don't need to add filters and blah, blah, blah. There's no need to do any of that. Just look at what is on your screen. So how could the Hubble telescope find Planet 9, a.k.a. Planet X, Nibiru, 336 light years away within, as they say, our solar system, when it's clearly orbiting our sun as the evidence continues to show you week after week as I bring the evidence forth, you're seeing it. And all the people in these Facebook groups and all these people on YouTube, they, they, they literally have their heads in the clouds because they're still believing in the mythological story of Nibiru and, and Planet Nine, which is nothing more than a mathematical equation on a chalkboard at a university. No evidence, nothing, zero. But the evidence is staring at you on your computer screen right now. And each and every week, each and every month, all year long for years, I've brought you the hardcore evidence. You can't deny it anymore. Even if you were a disbeliever, what's the best that you have to say? Oh, you photoshopped that, Mr. Bill. Well, if that's the truth, then that's some pretty damn good work. But that's not the truth. The truth of the matter is, is that Planet X News has stepped to the forefront, gained the technology and the knowledge to track this damn object and its partners. Because, yeah, folks... You know, <clears throat> many years ago, I mean, I used to think that, okay, there was only one object. That's all I was seeing. That's all I was tracking for years. But now with this new technology, we have for sure photographed on multiple occasions, especially this year, what we believe to be the, the whole system. We still don't know how many objects there are, but there definitely seems to be, uh, you know, one large central stellar core. And it, it, it just seems to be, seems to be dragging these other, uh, you know, planetary orbs, bodies with it. Because of its close proximity to the sun, I, I'm sure that, you know, gravitational tides and forces and the coronal mass ejections and the uh, the interaction between the magnetic fields of the sun and this object are just wreaking havoc out there. We see the way that the sun is reacting. Here's another close-up. This is as close uh, as we can blow it up without it getting blurry. Incredible, incredible detail. There, there actually looks like there is some sort of a uh, spherical object right back here, but it's unclear. This photograph here is zoomed in at a level, I think it's pretty close to, uh, pretty close to like 4K. Very, 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 very minor uh, pixelization. 
which uh, we kind of did expect a little bit of that because, you know, this was the first time we were rerunning data that had already rendered photographs. And, and we're going to be doing this now. Uh, we may even attempt a, a third time. But just looking at your screen now, you can see the incredible detail. Go back and look at the original. Absolutely incredible. It's not Planet Nine. It's definitely not the mythological Nibiru. <clears throat> I mean, do we continue to call it Planet X? What the hell do we call it? We don't even know what it is. But you can guarantee one thing. We may not know what these objects are for sure. But you can guarantee one thing. I'll be tracking them every day, every week, every month. And you'll see the best photographic evidence pertaining to this search. You're only going to see it right here on Planet X News. So make sure you're subscribed. Hit the like button. Share the videos. Take care, folks. Be safe.